Gateway to Gazillions in D. Ready? And G chord, back to the D chord, A7, D. Now, you, um, once you learn this, when we go back over it, now you'll play these chords in half notes and say the names out loud without my help. Ready? And... The next line, the right hand, starts on the D chord, G chord, D, A7, D. Now once you really learn this, then you play it in half notes and say the letter names, not the, not the letter names, the chord names out loud. Ready? And... Okay, so we go back to the beginning. It, this one begins with the left hand. This is the D chord. Now we've given numbers to um, every, every letter in the scale. So this is one in the key of D. One, two, three, four. Then we go to the fourth uh, note and we make a chord out of it. Now we've inverted chords before. Let's make this D fly down and play this D instead. And you'll notice these two notes, the G and the B, didn't change at all. Therefore, we can move smoothly from D chord to G chord. That's You can apply this to, uh, well, a gazillion songs. <laughs> then you go back to the D chord. Let's talk about A7. It's the five chord. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make an A chord, which you'll learn much more about in the uh, unlock the key of A course. But anyway, this is the A chord. You add a the seventh note on top, a whole step below the root. So it's A chord with a G on the top. And then we're going to invert it. Okay, so we put the A on the top. Nothing else is changing. I just add an A on the top. Get rid of the note that's not that important, which is the E, and it comes out to be C sharp, G, and A. Let's move it down an octave. C sharp, G, and A together. That's how we get to the A7 chord. Let's try this all together now. The D chord is, is D F sharp A. The G chord in its uh, second inversion is D, G, B. Play that all at once. Now you go back to the D chord. If you don't understand that inversion thing, don't worry about it right now. I'll talk more about it in, in more levels. But just play the D chord like this and the G chord like that because it's smooth. Rather than do this, that's hard. This is smooth. Play the D chord again. Now smoothly move your fifth finger down to C sharp play two on G, thumb on A, and play that. That's the A7 chord. And then D. So you can go ahead and practice that and then put it in half notes and say these names out loud so that it, it cements it in your head, my head too, better if we say things out loud. So say D, G, D, A7, D. I just gave you the answers. All right, and you apply that same knowledge to the right hand, D, F sharp, A. The G chord, remember, is in, it's in an inversion. Go back to the D chord. You already know how we made this A7 chord. Play thumb on C, four on G, five on A. That's the A7 chord, or the 5-7 chord, back to the 1 chord, which is D. I hope that 1, 4, 5, 7 is starting to really make sense to you, because if you can play 1 and 4 
In this key, you can easily transfer that knowledge to another key. So um, this is an important lesson. It might not be the most fun, but it's really essential that you know the primary or the most important chords in each key. So now we're going to learn how to make, uh, in the next lesson, we'll learn how to, to take this D chord and make it something slightly different. Then we'll get some fun songs to apply it to. All right, we'll see you in the next lesson. Gather you and